Hey, hey, so this time we're going to make a wall punching machine thing. So what I've done is I've very quickly and badly modeled a punching glove on a stick and made a red material. And I'm going to create these in a blueprint class, which I'll call wall puncher underscore BP and open that up. From here, I can bring in my static mesh, which is actually just a little bit huge. So we're just gonna scale that down to about maybe 0 0.4. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate it three times by hitting Control W and just moving some up. In fact, you know what? We don't want this one on the floor either. So let's put you about there, you about here. And I'm not gonna to worry too much about sort of the aesthetics and the placement and everything. We can fine tune and tweak after, but for now, that'll do. And you know what, actually, let's make a, a wall too. Okay, it's not the best housing system, but you know what? It'll do. I'm just gonna duplicate as well, put one here. So then when we walk past this wall, we want a random punching glove to come out. Um, let me just set this to red as well. If I did this before, if I duplicated it, it would have saved me a few clicks. Okay, so once, now we've got this set up, let's actually test the basic system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a reference to um, one of my punching gloves. We'll just do the middle one. And off this, essentially what we want to do is we're going to use a system called Move Component 2. Move Component 2. And we could use a timeline as well, but you know what, this will just... This will work, this will be fine. And what this does essentially is it moves the component, this thing, to a place like this. And it says, it says target relative location. So we're gonna start by getting the relative location. And we're gonna say, um, we want the target to move on this relative location. So we're looking at the green under Y. We probably want it to come out about let's just say 300 yeah that looks all right um so about minus 300 so we'll just do a vector minus vector and say 300 and tick q into there and say how long do you want this to happen like almost you know a 0 0.2 will probably be fine um, and that'll just pop out and be fun and then we're going to want it to retreat as well so we're going to create a delay so you can hold d and left click or just search for a delay and we'll say be out for about i don't know a second and then retreat back from whence you came so i'm just going to duplicate this move component and essentially do the same thing really but this time we want to do a plus so we'll do vex plus vector on 300, drag you into you, and a much slower return. All right, let's uh, actually give this a test to see how this works. So I'm just going to, um, I need to drag my wall into my world, raise it up. Remember we can press end and it should go into place. Nope, it did not, it's fine. Um, it's a bit ugly, but you know what? It should help. It'll do. Uh, 
uh, okay so it shot out and it didn't return because I've not told it what component to return Pew. cool okay so that works now what we want to happen here essentially is we're going to I mean we've got a couple of sort of ways to do this we've got like the easy way which would be to just duplicate this three times and just change the reference um, to punch it back two, punch it back three. You know what? Yeah, let's just do, do it the easy way and I'll show you the hard way after in case you're interested. Though it's not a hard way, it's just, I suppose it's just a different way. So instead of this being punch back two, we're going to get punch, this punching bag, rewire it all up. And then do the same thing again. And change it to punching back two. Okay, so essentially we've got like three systems now. And what we want to do is um, we'll do a new event so we'll do a custom event oops yeah that'll be fine actually um, fire fist I'm gonna call it fire fist and alt click this to deselect I'm gonna say uh, event by time event by so set timer by event I'm gonna link it up so this event is gonna be this one and every, I don't know, three seconds. In fact, let's make it slightly more fun than that. Let's just have a, a random float in range. So it can be a minimum of 2.2 or four, because we need, you know, like 2.2 seconds to actually complete the whole thing. So we'll do 2.4 just to make sure it's fine. Gives a bit of room and cool. And then that's gonna loop. And what we can do at this point as well is we sort of wanted to do either one of these randomly. So let's do a switch on int. Switch on int and create three events for this and wire them all in like this and then this again let's just do another random range random int in range between zero and two because don't forget numbers start on zero if you're a game and let's have a look so hopefully randomly each one of those should fire that one fired, it was good. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's random, so we could be waiting. Let's see what actually happens. You know what? We might need to make these a bit smaller. I think we will need to make this a bit smaller. Typical. Oh my gosh. I've gone and got myself stuck in there. So it's like it's colliding and it's good, but um, we're gonna need to set up a, a collision box on them. And um, tell it to ragdoll, which we've already set up in a previous video. I'm also gonna slow it down. It's coming out probably a bit, maybe too fast. Can't actually really see it. And then on the event, let's actually just set you to 2.6. Cool, okay. What I was gonna do? Oh yes, I was going to set up some collision boxes. So I'm punching bag one with that selected. I'm just gonna go down and add a box glider. And 
and we can sort of see it here. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. Pew, pew, pew. And sort of put that on the front of the fist. So hopefully, um, and it'll be really a similar process because we've already created it. I'm just going to do on begin overlap, which is the second one down. Um, on add to begin overlap. If it is the third person character, we will call the event dead. Did I call it dead? I can't remember. Did I call it a ragdoll? You know what? Let's actually just have a look. Let's just open a third person character. And I've got my dead event here. Oh, it's called hit. So when it hits, it's going to turn on the physics for um mesh and it's going to delay and it's going to restart. Cool. Okay. So it was called hit. And we're going to need to do the same thing for um, these other punching bags too. So I'll just cut here. So I've just added more box colliders on these and just repeated the same thing. Let's actually give it a test. Cool, it worked. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. I wish I made it look a bit visually better. I might tweak it and refine it a bit now. I should have made the stick a bit longer and maybe hidden it. Um, but you know, you can tweak it and refine yours and edit yours however you want to. Um, I'm actually going to bring the speed back a little bit. Also, you can see it's sort of messing up the camera's spring arm because um, it's doing a collision test. Um, and it might be better if we don't do that. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of fun. Ah! Thanks for watching.